Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to do a Halloween pour. I've got a plastic pumpkin from Michaels and if I have extra paint, I'm going to paint this uh, squash gourd plastic thing. So I today I'm using probably one part paint to about two to three parts Oetrol Easy Flow. And uh, I chose this because it's thicker than Floetrol and I wanted a thicker consistency paint mixture. So I've got one paint I'm going to mix for you, but uh, very quickly go through the colors. I'm going to mix you some Artist Loft Neon Orange. I've got some Arteza Gold right here. This one is a mixture of Deco Art Curb Appeal Yellow, which I had, Summer House Yellow, which is really kind of pale. So I added some yellow ochre to it to really warm it up. I've got some Artist Loft Metallic Orange. This is Arteza Mars Black. Arteza Crimson Red, just in case I have to mix any of these while I'm painting. Got some Buttermilk, Light Buttermilk by Deca Art. I didn't want white, I wanted it to be a little creamy, so I chose Buttermilk. And then this beautiful color is a mixture of just a hint of the Burnt Sienna by Arteza. And Master's Touch Brown Red, which is really a beautiful copper metallic. So, and I have to say that like my gold, metallic gold by Arteza, I had to really let it sit for a while. It was very lumpy. So don't give up on your paint, just mix it in with your medium and let it sit for a while. And um, it may eventually kind of smooth out for you. So. I've got in the cup probably a half an ounce or so of this neon orange. So I'm going to really go up to about two, two and a half ounces with the Oetrol. And with tube paint and Oetrol, you definitely have to add water because it's super, super thick. I want just some Halloween and fall colors yep, I thought would go well together. So that's very thick. I'm going to add just a little bit more Oetrol and I'm going to put a squirt of the water in. And pretty much I'm going to have a full cup of three ounces of this neon orange. And when you have it full, I just kind of fold it in a little bit until you see that milky water or oetrol kind of dissipate into the paint and then you can start to stir it a little bit without splashing over the edges <clears throat> it looks it looks a little pale right now but as it dries it everything always dries darker anyway so i also scrape my stick every so often and the sides to in ensure that you've got all that mixture thoroughly blended. And I like to keep a little Floetrol or Oetrol in my water so it comes up out kind of um, not clear, but it's maybe 10% Floetrol to 90% water. It just blends in with your paint better. Again, it's Oetrol Easy Flow. It's in the uh, Amazon link below my videos. So, there's all the colors. I'm going to get rid of sticks so they're not in the way. And I've just got something to set my pumpkin on. It's covered with plastic so I, I don't have to clean that piece off. And then I'm just going to pour over this putting a push pin in the top just so I can lift it 
up without putting my fingers into it. And uh, I just need to make sure I have something to set it on to actually dry. So I'll get that over on the table. So I've got 25 or 30 ounces of paint, so I should have plenty, but you never know. And I chose the black just because I thought if there was some paint at the bottom that didn't quite cover the pumpkin that the black being there would be totally fine. So I thought about putting the cups into a layer like a, a tree ring pour, but I think I, I want to actually just pour a color at a time. So I think that's how I'm gonna start. Should have put this on a canvas <laughs> and totally didn't think about that. But it will be on a puppy pad that I can save. So 
we're going to come back in just a little bit and see how this looks. <laughs> 